Hi, welcome to Go Hamster. Today I'll be viewing this iDisc Lightly and USB flash drive. Now this one is 128 gigabytes and it's MFI certified. Got it off Amazon for about $80. It can work with just about all the iPhone, iPad devices that's Lightning. On the other end, it's a USB 3.0 Type A type of connector. It's all metallic construction. There's a little keychain loop right over here. It also came with this pretty detailed user manual for their app. It's been a while since I saw an app this detailed. It goes over just about every single step, picture by picture, on how to use it. The app is free and it's the iDisc Pro. If you don't have it installed, that's fine. Once you plug in this flash drive, it'll prompt you on installing it. If you do have it installed, it'll ask you, can I run it? So I'm going to say yes, allow. Now, on the bottom over here, I can browse the contents on the iDisc storage, take pictures. For example, I want to record video, take pictures, and it'll store directly on the flash drive. That way I'm not writing directly to my iPhone storage. I'll also change the resolution too. So currently I have a set of 1080p, but I can go up even as 2K. In the settings page, here I can just go to video quality and 1080p or 2K. I can, change, I can add passcodes if I wanted to, format it, and there's also a user manual on here as well. For the iPhone, I can access my iPhone storage. Now, iPhone doesn't allow you to access any other storage that's, for example, any other root storage. You need to jailbreak your phone for that. So here, I'm see. I'm, I'm copy one of my videos here. I'm gonna go to edit. Choose. I can choose multiple files. I'm just just gonna copy this one. Go to copy, and I'm gonna copy it to iDisk. I can create a new folder. Copy it to an existing folder. Just paste it. All right, finish copying. So I can put pictures on it, I can put PDFs on it, I can put videos on it, just about anything I want. So that video I just copied over is this one right here. So it's playing, audio is fine, no stuttering. Just me playing with my spinner. Now, I could also put music on it too if I want. Uh, the thing is that if I place music on it, it's not like the Apple Music app. I don't have playlists. I don't have like a random shuffle. It's a very basic type of multimedia. Because, because everything's contained within this one app. I have the iDisc flash drive plugged into my computer. And the computer I have here is the MacBook Pro with Retina. What I'm going to do is launch Black Magic Disk Speed Test. I'm going to choose a 2 gig stress test. I'm going to select my target drive, which is the iDisc. I'm going to start my test. Even though it's faster than USB 2.0, for USB 3.0 standards, it's on a very low end. It's only about 21 megabytes for write and about 21 megabytes for read. My opinion on this item is mixed. I love that it's MFI certified. That way I can use it with my MFI certified cases. It's got a nice handy keychain loop, very low profile, nice solid metal construction. And love the capacity, 128 gigs. That way I can back up my iPhone when I'm on vacation without even having to bring a computer. Their app is free, it's easy to use. Now, the downside is, even though it's USB 3.0, well, the speed just isn't as fast as my other USB 3.0 flash drives. It's about 21 megabytes for write, 21 megabytes for read. It's on the lower end. Yes, it's faster than USB 2.0, but if I'm transferring like one gig video file at that kind of speed, it's going to take a little, a little bit of time. So if you're in the market for something that's backing up your contents on your iPhone or iPad without having to involve a computer, this will fit the bill. But if you're transferring large video files constantly and you're trying to save time, well, in that case, this may not be the one for you. Thanks for watching this review. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to contact me. Thanks for watching Hamster. Bye.